<laughs> I think this calls for one thing a London snow stealth camp. <laughs> I've never seen snow like this in London ever. Please let it set. Oh. All the snow's gone. As you saw, we had some very, very heavy snowfall here in London, which is super, super rare. I haven't personally seen snow come down like that, that thick and that fast in years and years and years. I literally cannot think of another time where there's been that much snowfall in London. A lot of it did set early this morning. However, it has already pretty much turned into slush and faded away. So I'll show you now what the road looks like after this morning's heavy snowfall. This was the road which I showed you this morning. Now there's only a little bit of snow on the windscreens. I would have loved it to have completely set, but uh, I was gonna start this video early and go and try and find somewhere to stay for the night when the snowfall was coming down at its maximum. But uh, apparently my sister went for a drive earlier today and she said there were cars sliding and skidding everywhere. So I didn't really fancy taking the car out because I don't have four wheel drive. I don't have winter tires. So it could have been a recipe for disaster. So the plan tonight is not to go too far from home only because there's meant to be more snowfall due and I don't fancy getting stuck anywhere where I can't potentially get back. No flat battery today, I hope. Yes. All the snow that was on the road earlier has pretty much 99% all gone so quickly. Oh, don't stop there, you tit. Arr. So this is where we're going to try and stealth camp for the night. I'm going to drive a little bit further down because I hope there might be somewhere better to stay or that might not be a bad spot actually. I think this is going to be quite a nice spot for the night. There are actually a lot of people still walking past, walking their dogs, going for a run. So I'm just going to sit tight for 20 minutes or so just wait for the light to go down the sun's completely set it's almost pitch black but uh still very busy so yeah we'll give it a few minutes and then i'll show you exactly where i'm staying tonight still loads of people out and about Over there in the distance, there we go, is 
Fulham Football Club Stadium, Craven Cottage. They're doing some sort of renovation over there. And the first time I ever did a London stealth camp was in this park, Bishop's Park. And over there in the distance, you have Putney Bridge. So I basically just crossed over the bridge, took a right over the bridge, drove down a little bit. One of the main roads was closed and then came down one of these side roads to the car. I'm right next to, or right down the road, from Putney Rowing Club, which is why you have these sort of, I don't know what you call them, uh, what do you call this, a boat? It's not a boat, it's a, a rowing boat holder. I don't know what you call it. Probably sound like a right idiot. All of the snow that was here this morning has gone. The only snow left is a little bit there, and then some here on the car for those of you that don't know most places in london on a sunday you can park for free without having to pay which is great this wasn't planned at all so happy days tonight i can stay here no charge don't have to pay anything and it should be quite a nice quiet spot it's about six o'clock now there's still lots of people walking around walking the dogs going for a run all that kind of stuff who have probably spent the day enjoying the snow for those of you that haven't seen my setup before, I'll quickly show you and then I'm going to turn these lights off while I just get the window covers on because obviously I don't want to be too obvious about me sleeping in here tonight. This is the setup, standard, as I always, always have. If you've watched one of my videos, I still have this electric blanket which I've not sent back because to be honest with you, although it doesn't get warm and it drained my battery in the last video, I quite like the way it looks aesthetically in the car just adds a nice bit of a pattern to it so just going to turn these lights off and get the window covers on so i'm a bit more stealth mode activated because there's still a lot of people running past it's a shame it's not snowing now because i probably wouldn't even need to put the window covers on that would be cool damn i wish it was still snowing hopefully tonight it should be dropping in temperature again and i could wake up to a lovely snowy paradise fingers crossed anyway i would love that if you're wondering how i'm keeping my toes warm now because my toes are always the things which seem to get so cold nowadays i'm wearing two pairs of socks tonight although i think i might invest in some proper snow boots or well, not snow boots that's a bit excessive here in the uk but some feet heat warmers or something along those lines because in the mornings and at night my toes are numb it's probably been a couple of weeks since I've stealth camped or stayed in the car at all and to be honest with you I've missed it so much I had some time off because the car was in the garage but it just feels so good to be back in here I don't know it's so weird how to explain this feeling to somebody but the only way I can describe it or the only analogy that I can tell you what it feels like to be sleeping in a car stealth camping in London is when you're a child and you're much younger and you're out in the woods making dens made out of wood or when you're in your bedroom and you're just you know building pillows on top of pillows and putting duvets and blankets and making these cool little hideouts that's what I used to do as a kid anyway and coming in here just gives me that sense of being a child again and that slight sense of adventure which we don't have too much of at the moment just an update on some heating news for you all. I decided to scrap the idea of using my propane gas heater to try and heat it up in here because one, it causes condensation which will then cause mold for the roof. That is a loud motorbike or a car, whatever it is. So potentially in the next week, I'm gonna be heading off to a new country. If, if, pray to the gods, cross my fingers, touch some wood. If I don't have any issues at the border, and I can get across into this new country, I'm going to try and install a diesel heater because finally I've broken and I've decided the diesel heater needs to be installed because for me, there doesn't seem to be any other better solution than heating up the car in here. The diesel heater won't cause condensation or mold. It won't give me breathing problems or carbon monoxide poisoning. And it seems a very cheap and efficient way to warm this small space up. But I think the country that I'm heading into is about minus 15 every day, so it's a must. A lot of people wonder, where do you go to the toilet? Simple. I take a wee in my protein bottle, and uh, that's that, because when you're obviously doing a London stealth camp, it's hard to find public toilets, and for instance, like where I am right now, there's people walking up and down constantly, so I can't exactly go outside and go for a wee. Just to clear up any confusion, by the way, a lot of people have said, oh my God, you're peeing in the same bottle that you're drinking from. No, I'm not. 
I promise you, I'm not. I don't pee in this, empty it, and then pour my water in it and drink from this. That is absolutely vile. If I was in an emergency situation where I had to drink my own pee, then absolutely, I would do it. But no emergencies here. I have two of these bottles just to clear up any confusion. Just to show you guys exactly what it looks like when I'm kind of just settled down, ready for the night. Window covers on. I then draw this middle window cover on, one on there, and then here we are, chilling. It involves hooking a diesel heater up into the van, but... My toes are starting to go numb. I need to get this diesel heater installed quickly. Tonight's dinner doesn't come any easier than that. Ravioli, not ravioli. Is it ravioli? I don't know, there's steam going everywhere, which can't be good. Should probably try and get a fan installed in here, but to be honest, I would love to get some sort of proper van in the future, so this will do for now. So anyway, as I was saying, dinner, pasta, some mascarpone sauce, and some cheese. Very easy, very simple and very delicious. Empty, oh God, excuse me. So it looks like there's not gonna be any more heavy snowfall, which is a shame, but you never know with the British weather. So fingers crossed anyway, I would love to wake up to some more snow because it's just amazing, especially in London when it's so rare and it just, don't know, it puts a smile on people's faces, especially in a time of lockdown where people can't really go outside seeing a bit of snow and doing something different. Cheers people up. Anyway guys, I'll catch you in the morning. Hopefully I won't freeze tonight. I've got no heating whatsoever, no diesel heater. I'm not gonna use my propane heater. Don't have a water bottle, but I must bring one I always, always forget. Anyway, see you in the morning. Good morning everybody, minus two degrees this morning. It's about 7.30 in the morning, I woke up at 7 o'clock because that's what time I set my alarm. Got really cold in the middle of the night. This is the first time I actually slept with pretty much all of my clothes on, apart from my uh, my puffer jacket. But uh, to be honest with you, as soon as I wrapped myself underneath the sleeping bag, 
it's usually not too bad. Condensation wise, we're looking fairly condensated this morning, as you can see from the front. There's people walking past with their dogs. My door is actually frozen. Jesus. I can't open it. Oh, oh God, I don't want to do that. God. Jesus, I don't want to smash the window. Oh, Christ almighty. Oh, my God. This door is frozen closed. <laughs> I'll see if I can get out another one. There we go, a few icicles this morning. No snow though, sadly. A very, very peaceful, calm morning. Okay, my front right door is locked. I can't unlock it because again, it's frozen. So I'm gonna have to climb in this way. Oh. oh dear. Everything is frozen this morning. That's the first time that's happened to me. That has just filled up a lot of water. I don't know if you can see, but it's just gone over the one bar mark. One and a half to be precise. Oh, we are frozen. I think I need to pick up myself an ice scraper. I'm gonna sit here guys for a few minutes, wait for the car to warm up and then head on out of here. It's been good to get back out in the car, do another stealth camp in London because it's been a good couple of weeks since my last one anyway. A massive thank you to all of you guys that have watched. I really feel like we're building a nice community of people that just enjoy living this kind of lifestyle and just getting out there and having fun. Plenty more videos to come, that's for sure. And uh, definitely, I think you'll really enjoy the videos to come next month as I head off into this new country. And I'll share the news on that in the next video. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.